Hey there, this is Amy with Amy Ever After, and I'm going to show you how to tie a mask, one of these uh, disposable surgical masks, so that it's really tight, it has a good fit, and no gaps on the sides. All right? All right, so we have our mask. This is unworn, brand new mask, and what you're going to do is, this is the side that goes towards your face. You're going to fold it in half like this, the long way, with those corners together, and you are going to make a knot as tight as you can, okay? Get it around here. We're just gonna make a simple loop knot. Here's the important part. The knot has to be as close to the mask as possible. So as you're tightening it, you're gonna slide it close to the mask. This is really important. All right, see how that's right up against the mask? And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Slide it up tight. All right, see that? So now what we're going to do is we are going to take this extra fabric and just put it inside, okay? You wanna see it from the other side? Here's the inside part that goes towards your face. We've got this extra fabric with this gap here. Just gonna put that inside. Then this is the top of the mask. This is the, the bendy nose part. You're gonna flatten that excess up against the top, against the part that's going to go on the top of your face, okay? So that's what it's going to look like. And now let's put it on. So we have our mask. We have this part flattened up against the top half. You're gonna Bend it over our nose, just like usual. Get those ear loops on. Hold this here while we pull it under our chin. Look at that. No gaps. See that? It's all being held in by this knot. Right there. You can try, try breathing hard to see if any comes out. can see the mask moving when I breathe. So that's a really good sign because that's where the resistance is and it's, it's coming in and out mostly from here. Now, I mentioned before that you have to get the knots absolutely right up to the side of the mask, that it really, really matters and here's why. So you can see here, this one is close, but you know, it's like a quarter inch away, okay? To side two. You might think that that's good enough, but here's what happens. Put this on. All right, let's get it on. We have this tucked, but it's still gapping because the knot is not close enough to hold all of those gathers in and they're just going to keep, they're gonna keep coming loose, okay? So you have to have this. I mean, this, this is honestly better than untied, but nowhere near as good, nowhere near as tight of a seal and flat against my face over here as if the knots are right up against here, okay? And that's it for tying the mask. I personally am putting a cloth mask over that tied mask. Um, I feel like with that new variant that spreads more easily, that's something that uh, just makes me feel a little safer, especially if I'm going indoors somewhere to a grocery store or the post office. So you use your judgment, but that's what I'm doing.